Hey guys, welcome to Dread Vault again. This is Tolga Ser. Today we will talk about wireless transmitters. A few weeks ago, More Audio sent me a package which includes more Air P10 and GTRS GWU form, and I use those products time to time at rehearsals or in my review videos of guitars, guitar review videos. But today I want to compare these two products with my trustworthy cable and AKJ SR40. I'm not sure about the quality of this product too. I just want to compare those two with this because of the difference in their forms. About the selection of the guitars, I just used the Squire Bullet Strat in E standard tuning and also my Jackson RR24Q Pro Series in C standard tuning and you will hear the DI sounds only with an EQ chart. Actually I already recorded tracks with four different products and with two different guitars and I have some thoughts about all of those products but first let's hear the audios and then I'm gonna share my thoughts about the audio quality, about user friendliness and the design of those products. Also if you will enjoy the content please Subscribe to the channel, like the video, make a comment. It's really important for the growth of this channel. Thanks for that. Let's hear the audio. If you are a regular follower, if you are a regular subscriber, you probably knew I'm okay with unorthodox methods, I'm okay with innovations, I can sell an old tube amp for a processor for a floorboard if it sounds okay. But when it comes to this transmitter, the wireless stuff in recordings and at stage, I won't leave my cable aside for a transmitter because it's not trustworthy enough for me. You can hear the differences in the sound actually in the Seymour Duncan SH6 in the high output pickups. So if I will adjust the height of my pickup, it probably won't make those clipping sounds, but I don't want to adjust the height of my pickups just for a wireless transmitter. And if a cable can handle those signal, those, all of those stuff should handle as well, but neither the AKJ nor the more or GTRS aren't sufficient for the signal and you can hear the clippings. So for me, when it comes to the audio quality, cable is an absolute winner for me, but still I have to mention when it comes to the jamming or recording demo tracks, all of those products are okay to use, especially when it comes to the metal, when it comes to the high gain stuff, you know, lots of distortion, etc. No one can hear all of those clippings, but in between three different wireless transmitters, which is better is up to your taste because all of those products have a significantly different EQ response to the signal comes from the guitar. And don't forget to mention your opinions in the comments. It's really important for me. But to sum up, the cable is the winner. Now let's talk about the design. Let's start with the Stratocaster. Both products from GTRS aka more are quite similar. You can fold the product products like this, you can fold the transmitters like this, but on a Stratocaster it's not quite nice 
for me because as you can see it's an issue i don't like the situation in here and let's check the gtrs it's quite similar too and it's quite dangerous when you are on the stage you can easily bump your guitar into anything however this design is kind of okay for me when it comes to the stage stuff because you know you can connect the transmitter just like a cable actually with a cable and then you can put this in your pocket but it's also a weight on you it's a weight in your pocket it's a weight in your strap so it's it's not comfy too but let's check those products on a render roads because it's magnificent i'm gonna show you why it's not that perfect when it comes to the gtrs but you can connect the transmitter and you can just fold it but you can't fold it because it's the last place maybe we can turn this around it's not connected it's not going in let's check the design of the air p10 actually it's perfect for a king v or a render road because you can fold it just like it if you want to be sure you can put a tape around it it won't affect it by your strap because it goes like this it's not even seen like a stratocaster so it's perfect for a render road you know it's not even seen but it's not that good for a stratocaster air p10 is an absolute winner for me design wise it's not touching to my leg when i'm sitting and it won't be an issue when i'm standing let's talk about the user friendliness i won't talk about the cable because a cable is a cable but let's talk about three different products when i'm talking about the sr40 i'm talking about all of those products with a similar design like this product like line 6 g30 or g50 or some other products of sennheiser or different brands you know a cable goes to a transmitter which goes to a receiver and you have to use a cable for the receiver and then you need a power supply actually i'm not a fan of it because let's start from the beginning first of all we have a cable and uh, mini xlr cable and it's not that easy to find if this cable stops working you have to spend a little bit time to find a replacement and it won't get any easier if you are on the road if you are on the tour also we have this receiver and you have to use a cable to make a connection between this and an amplifier or pa system and especially the analog pedal board users will get me increasing the amount of the connection points won't be helpful and let's talk about the last issue the power supply you know for some of you guys it might be more trustworthy than a chargeable transmitter but for me it's just an additional weight on my shoulders also it has a positive polarization so my power supply won't support this product however you can charge the gtrs or air p10 from more by a usb cable as a conclusion when it comes to the audio quality cable is the absolute winner for me when it comes to the design it's up to your instrument's shape and up to your needs, up to your playing style, like sitting or standing. But when it comes to the user friendliness, those products are unbeatable because you won't need an additional cable. You, ju you just have to charge those products time to time and it will go for a while. Also, if you need something more professional, as far as I know, you have to spend at least a few grand to those products so price wise those products are unbeatable too i hope you enjoyed the content don't forget to share your opinions on the comments and please like the video and subscribe to the channel till the next video see ya